Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner where today I thought it might be kind of fun to paint on a throw pillow cover case thingamajig. Uh, so I found this, probably gonna work. It's like a hundred years old. I almost busted my hand opening the top, but now it opens nice and easy because I cleaned it out because I'm a good person. Uh, I'm gonna use this, my little Jane Davenport super big brush. And I'm just gonna smear this. I'm not gonna cover the whole thing. We're going for a central circular bitty bit. And this I thought was gonna be more like a canvas, but I think it's just polyester, whatever. I don't care. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna use this as an actual throw pillow. I'm just doing this for fun. And I didn't iron it because I don't care. So basically, uh, I thought this would be fun. And there is a piece of paper in between, like inside the pillowcase so they don't actually stick together. Of course that paper may never come out. Uh, and I'm just putting this down so that I can paint on it a little easier. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do Frida, well, Frida inspired. You know me, I don't like to do exact portraits. I can't handle the pressure. But yes, just getting this down. It's probably gonna be gross, and this whole thing's gonna be a fail. But has that ever stopped me before? No, and I need to use up this matte medium because I don't even know where I got it from. That's how old it is. So we're just taking this pretty close to the edge. Don't need to go all the way. I'm probably flicking little microscopic bits all over my room. And I'm just kind of trying to fade it out. And I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours. Um, so hopefully it'll be good to go. I have no idea how stiff it's gonna be. That's gonna be funny. I'm sure it'll be super comfortable to lay on. And I found my little clippy things. Been looking for those for, I don't know, like a month. They were in my Pusheen box. Why? Because that's where I thought I would look for them. So I kind of just faded it out as it got closer to the edges. So hopefully it'll be a little less stiff. I don't know. That seems like a good amount, right? Probably. I don't even know if I've ever used this. I think my friend gave it to me. So we're gonna put that over there. I'm gonna give this a good cleansing with some soap and water. And this is gonna dry. And basically I just have it on a piece of canvas that's still wrapped in plastic. And I'm using these journals as a support. And that's it. That is the extent of my caring of how this is gonna turn out. Okay, I'm gonna go watch this and uh, return later and hopefully paint something that kind of looks like, you know, Frida. Okay, bye for now. All right, I am back. It has dried, sort of. I had to dry it quite a bit because it took forever and it stuck to the paper. It was a whole ordeal. Now it's just kind of like, looks like, I don't know, somebody spilled their tea. Kind of looks gross. That's okay. <laughs> It'll just add to the overall glamorousness of it in the end. Ugh, I don't have any water. Hold on, be right back. All right, a nice fresh cup of water in my nasty paint jar. All right, so I got these colors to do the background and I'm just gonna kind of smear them around. Initially, I was gonna do like blacks and reds and whatnot, cause that's just, those are the colors I associate with Frida, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna do it light and pastel and pretty. Um, not that red and black aren't pretty, it's just, those are very strong contrasting colors. Not my vibe, especially in my house. So, <clears throat> I found this picture of Frida which I'm going to use. I hope you can see it. I hope there's not like a big old reflection on it. I went with black and white because I didn't want to be swayed by color choices. No idea what any of these colors are. And again, I'm not going for like realistic likeness. I'm going for essence. A hint of what they look like. <laughs> that way I feel better if it doesn't quite turn out. So I'm gonna set her up there and Pray that she does not fall. I'm just gonna plop these down. It'll help reinforce, because this kind of looks like it didn't cover very well. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But um, these do come with little tips 
on the uh, top, which you can take off. Although I totally hurt my thumbnail trying to get that stupid matte medium lid off. It like pulled the skin back underneath. You ever have that happen? Ugh. I don't like it. But, ooh, this one. Oh, excuse you, Mr. Excitable. Kind of, oh my. I want to see a doctor about that. Hopefully that's enough because I'm putting the lid back on already. And then this one, I mostly want for the inside. So, I'm gonna get my brush just ever so slightly damp as in soaking it, dabbing it off. It was like green, I don't know why. And we're just gonna start smearing this around. I want good coverage in the middle. And then we'll kind of incorporate this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more of that. Get me some of that. I really thought that that matte medium was gonna help. And it doesn't really seem to be doing much. Ooh, flipping paint everywhere. It's an easy way to decorate your art space. Really work it into those crevices. I love how in my last video I was like, I hate working on texture. Here I am working on like super texture. And we'll kind of just fade it off. What are you? You're not invited to the party. Kind of round it out a little bit, made it look like, make it look like I know what I'm doing. It's all intentional, I swear. This video might be like retitled to how to destroy a pillowcase, a throw pillow cover in one easy step. Okay, it was like three, but there's a hair. You're not invited to the party either. Get, what are you? What are you? Get off. All these little intruders. All right. Just giving it kind of a smoothie, a smoothie, a smooth one over, really blend everything. It's not exactly centered, but neither am I. I think we're probably good. Gonna let this dry for who knows how long. I swear it'll probably look better when we're done, maybe. Ugh. That really just trashed my water. So I'm gonna go get some new water. I'm gonna let this dry, and when we come back, we'll start painting. Well, we'll start drawing a Frida-esque face. And, uh, you know, hope for the best. Sorry, I'm putting caps back on the paints because I don't want them to dry out or spill or anything. All right, when I come back, oh, first, the lighting might be changing because I keep resetting the focus when I come back, so, you know. Hopefully that's not too distracting. I don't know what it's gonna look like until I'm done. Whatevs. Uh, I'm gonna go rinse out my water and my brush, dry this, and then we'll sketch out a Frida-inspired face. Be right back. All right, I am back. It's still slightly damp. <clears throat> it's taken like 300 years to dry. What is the deal, people? Um, I don't care though. Well, I might, I might care. Right now I don't. I'm gonna try drawing this out. Hopefully it works. Um, yeah, I'm having one of those days where if any little stupid thing can happen, it's happening. I know you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just like, Ooh, let, let, let's get through this. Woo! Art's always fun though. Definitely makes me feel better. So let's start drawing. I just grabbed a purple Prismacolor pencil. So let's start drawing. Not sure why I chose her face looking that way because I never draw faces looking that way. So just adding to the fun that is my day. That's all right. Sorry if you guys can hear the helicopters. You probably can't. Every time I say I'm sorry, you can hear something. When I'm editing, I don't hear it, but it's so loud in the room right now. Now her face is very much so in shadow on that side. And I think I might just color like solid. Things that I'm making up as I go. We'll see how it all turns out in the end. Could be good, could be bad. Her lip is just dark. Kind of has a little highlight. So this is all dark in there and then this is all dark here. That's going off that way. 
and she has a little bit of a cleft chin. I think that's what it's called, right? A little butt chin. And then it kind of comes down. She's got some big old earrings. This is all just shaded in. Eating up my pencil quite quickly. Yay, texture. I said that sarcastically. It's like part of her earring. And then her neck, forehead, just kind of, her hair just kind of goes down like that. And up this way. And I'll have it just going off. Definitely a little moist in this area. Uh, let me sharpen my pencil real quick, just a little bit. Her ear. Oh, she has cute ears. And then she has a little earring. Ooh, that's very wet. That's beyond moist. Yes, I say moist as much as I can. And I don't know why people are against that word. I think moist is the perfect description for cake. <laughs> that's all I ever equate it to is cake. Woo, that's really wet. It's just gooping up on the pencil. Cool earrings, which I am not doing those details because I'm lazy. And then she does have like, I think it's a necklace made out of rocks or something. So yeah, whatever. And then that comes up like that. And there we have a Frida-esque pillow thing happening. And so begins this stuff. Gonna get my paints ready. Checking to see if I hit the record button. I did, I'm responsible. You know, it's a huge difference putting two ice cubes in my coffee. I don't know why, but it tastes so much better. So I'm gonna do her skin first. I'm not gonna put out all the paint just yet. I'm gonna do just her skin for now. And I'm gonna work it a little slower than normal, see if I can make it look real nice. I'm not sure. Usually I just go for like a messy, sketchy, fun look. I'm doing a lot of purple because purple on half her face. <laughs> and then this color is basically gonna be the other half. And I really don't know how much this is gonna seep into this fabric or not. It's all new and exciting. I don't know how I already did that. Where did that come from? Who are you? Why are you on the bottom of my paper? Ugh. It's a ruined. No, I'm just kidding. I'm wondering if I should use a bigger paintbrush than this, because that's the one I always use. But I could use this one, it's just a little bit bigger. Let's use the little bit bigger one, just to lay down like the basic shapes and whatnot. Because you all know, I do my own thing 99% of the time. We're gonna go with her lightest skin tone first. And the pencil does not show through, so that's scary. Once I paint over it, it's gone forever. Wow, I used this paint really quickly. All right, coming into the darker color. Coming into that purple, because this whole side over here is just purple. The lips are in shadow. Even her earring. Give my brush a little bit of a rinse. Back to the light color. Just fill this in over here. Add a touch of the pink. Give me quite a bit. It's all shadowy over here. Alrighty, let's go back over to this side. Some pink on these cheeks before it dries. Although I have no idea, this seems to take forever to dry, so I think we're okay in that department. Just have a nice variation of color happening. Pink in the nose, because who doesn't love a cute pink nose? And start using this color for some of the not so dark shading. I really need to get some more of that light skin tone. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Go 
color starts to get much darker up here. Forehead, so we're just going to gradually make it lighter. I'm not used to working this big either. It's kind of hard to keep the proportions. I can't really see the picture as a whole, so... You know, I'm hoping it looks good. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I'm okay with that too. lips. I could have done the red lips, but I didn't. I'm gonna do that. Just, just gonna kind of create a line there just to separate her face from her earrings. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush not lose the detail in her nose, or at least try and bring some detail back to her nose. We're just gonna bring the pink in and I will figure it out later. bring in a darker color for contrast. Hmm, not quite sure. I will work on that later. For now, I'm gonna bring in some dark blue for her hair. Although that might just be too dark. I could do a dark, nah, we'll just do dark blue, it's fine. Go back to this big brush. Debating if I actually want to create a little shine on her hair or not. I might. She does have some hair shine through here. And then this half is all dark. So how to create that highlight? I'll just use this blue. Is that enough? Probably not. Come on, paint. Pushing it to the limit. All right, it's a little highlight. Oh shoot, she's got a little highlight here too. All right, bring it back. Thought I was doing so good. I guess I could say I got these pillowcases. It was a pack of four for like 10 bucks, so you know they are quality. <laughs> and uh, they're just, I think they're like 18 inch throw pillowcases, I don't know. But, you know, for an experiment, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money. I do wish they were canvas, though. Getting here a little Frida done. I'm going to switch back to my tiny brush and do some detailing on the ear. Thrilly bots, I know you're excited. Pink on the top. I'm just mixing in with that skin tone. And purple inside. Is that, where did you come from? Weird crumbs just coming out of nowhere. not the most beautiful ear, but now she can hear and wear earrings. Let's put in some brow. I was just gonna kind of mark them in lightly, but I think I should use the dark blue. How am I gonna do her eyes? I don't have white. I do have gesso, but I hate gesso. Let me use the ancient pages. I could use this little brush to do some like highlights on the nose.
All right, I can do details with this later. Um, let's let's get her eyes going. Kind of using the blue for shading and for blocking in the eye. Well, we'll fix that later. Again, it is hard to see this whole image, so I hope these eyes are somewhat lining up. I can't see through my viewfinder. My little window thing. Phone, that's what it's called. I am kinda digging the dark blue for some really deep shadows. Might get carried away and ruin things. I do want her lips to kinda just disappear into the shadows. More of this blue. Loosely put in some brows. Blend it all together. I don't know why it's holding onto the blue color so much. Release. I'm digging it. I'm gonna create kind of a dark purpley color for under her chin. Purpley blue. Just to really help it stand out. Let's take this blue, a little touch of pink. Did absolutely nothing. But I'm gonna push back this earring a bit. All right, a little separation of the earring is nice. I feel like I do need to add more contrast down where the mouth is. Looking at my reference. Wipe off the excess and see if I can just kind of smear it out. Ooh, maybe I have a little of that color left. There we go. That helped. I think. I've got this blue kind of going everywhere. I am pretty happy with her face. I feel like I should add some lashes, dare I? Let's just keep them subtle, how about that?
should probably add an eyelid to this side. Just a little subtle one. It is very dark in the photo right there. Okay, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I think I'm, well, almost done with these colors. Almost, I say. Let's just use this up around these rock jewelry bits. Kind of just blend it up and outward. I'm gonna color that gold. Those, I really don't know, didn't plan on it. Maybe I'll just do them blue to carry that dark blue to the bottom. And then they can be, like they can have highlights on them or something, I don't know. They don't need to be perfect by any means. They aren't round. I mean, they're round-ish, but they aren't perfect circles, I should say. They're just big, chunky jewelry. Just add some highlights. I don't even know if this is on camera. If it's not, I am sorry. But I'm just adding some highlights to her necklace. Oh my gold. Oh, I pulled it out because I planned on doing it. In the very beginning, grab a clean brush. These are the Jane Davenport magnetic brushes. They are quite Fancy if I do see some myself. Laying it on a little thick. A nice chunk of gold. I feel like I should add a little bit to this. Maybe I'll just make this one gold too. I don't know. We'll just mix it in with that purple and see what happens. Now we got some nice Shimmer glimmer on the picture. Who doesn't love that? I'm gonna give this a thorough drawing, clean up my brushes, pull out some paint pens and maybe play with those. Maybe I won't, I don't know. I'm a little scared because I really like the way it looks right now. And I'm gonna put this in another journal. So I will see you guys in just a second for you, but you know, probably like half an hour for me. <laughs> Be right back. All right, back from drawing. I gave it a quick dry, I didn't give it a thorough drawing because I kind of like the way she's looking and I don't think I'm gonna do too much with the paint pens. I might just do, sorry, give that a good shake. I might just dab in her eyes. I like the sketchiness of it. So I didn't want to do too many highlights. But I will probably give her a nice outline. But even that I'll try and keep a little sketchy. but it helps in areas like down here where it's a little messy. All right, I'm liking that, I'm liking it. It's not so dramatic. Ooh, just a little bit, just a little bit. And I might call that good, maybe. All right, you guys, we did it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this in a pillow and see how it looks, and that'll be like, you know, one of the end pictures. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you get inspired to buy some really cheap <laughs> throw pillow throw pillow covers <laughs> and splatter some paint on it, see what happens. I had a really good time. I really like her a lot more than I thought it was. I'm, just, I'm like kinda in love with her right now. So all right, you guys, thank you for joining me, and I will see you probably Sunday with a live. Even if Rocky's not here, I will try and give it a go. I hope I can figure it out. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.